All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, um, I did a lot of videos centered around the major LRs, right? I wanted to see, like, how good are each LR, how are things going to be looking in a lot of these fights. Um, now, I want to take a look at the TURs. Um, I, I'm kind of, like, trying to get a good uh, judge on how much I like the EZA TURs and the Dokkan Fest TURs and stuff like that. Um, now, I do grow tired of these Dokkan Fest exclusive characters who kind of just are slot two characters, you know, slot three characters, and they sit there, and then, like, the team ends up in shambles from, like, the, you know, not Roshi dying, but, like, everyone else will be dying. Um, but one thing I could say about Roshi compared to maybe, like, Namek Vegeta is that Roshi is going to be impacting the fight tremendously with all of his support. Let's go ahead and jump in. We'll rock in just like this. Um, the problem with Roshi's team, really, that, by the way, this is a shadow friend or a dev friend. Um, so we, I was gonna actually, this video was gonna be physical rosé, but I only had one physical rosé on my friends list. So I was like, oh no, I, I definitely can't do that. All right, like, this is probably not gonna be a one-run video, so I'm not working. Hello, what's your coming to Ninja? Uh, all right, just at this exact moment, um, I realized we are in trouble. <laughs> we are in big trouble. Uh, Jesus Christ, Janemba. Janemba is actually very goddamn scary. Now, at Roshi, man, I we cannot tank Janemba, can we? I mem remember, Roshi is STR, too. So we're going to hit Janemba, and that boy's hitting that big-ass buff. Uh, man, I, let's, just, let's just rock it just like this. Let's rock it just like this. Let's see what happens, man. I mean, it's... Uh, nobody knows anything about anything about anything in Under the Sea at all. That made a ton of sense, but we don't know. All right, so Roshi, member is going to be able to build up some damage and stuff like that. Remember, Roshi is going to be able to heal us, too, with his very powerful active skill. Um, starting from turn three, we'll have access to the active skill. So both times we see each Roshi, we potentially could use his active which gives massive support and huge healing. So he's at double digits right there. That's good. Bunny Bulma, I think basically throughout this entire fight, is dodge or die. I'm pretty sure. Um, if she's going to give us supers, I, I mean, she does get a lot of defense when she super attacks. So, okay, that's good. Uh, all right. Now, here's the thing. So this is the friend Roshi. So you know he's going to have like 30 additional or something like that. I, when we're using most teams... If Janemba just side, decides to load up that slot 3 super attack, it's over. Like, dude, it, it's just done. Like, you can't... You're not doing shit to him. Like, if Janemba's just firing a super attack off in slot 3... We're, yeah, we're not doing shit to this. This is the friend Roshi. He, so you know he doesn't have dodge. Yeah. I... Okay. Real quick. I... We've seen characters take a lot more from that Janemba super... That was damn near his max power super attack, too. So, like, I like I don't know. Like, I look at that number Roshi just took right there, and it's like, damn. We, throughout the course of this video, Roshi could tank Janemba's max power super. He could. We could get there. This is the same Roshi. Let's take a look, man. Uh Oh, wait. No, he's good. I mean, I would really love if he was link leveled and had equips, but, like, that gives us more of a shot to win. I, you know, again, like discussing the whole dodge stuff, it just can come down simply put to this without, you know, lasting on it too long. Dodge is going to give us a lot better of a chance to win when fights get tougher. And that's what we have going on here, right? You know, no amount of additionals and crits and shit like that is going to allow us to survive Janemba. Well, we'll see. With a bunch of support, maybe, maybe. Uh, we'll play this one more time. この近くのはずなんだけど。あの、私は
All right, we had to get Tech UI Goku's in there. Um, now, Tech UI Goku and AJL UI Goku are, you know, kind of a must run almost for this team. We'll float Roshi, yeah, because my Roshi's in slot seven. Okay, sure. Um, we have plenty of orbs for Bulma, which is good. Now, Bulma, of course, I mean, she's food to Janemba early on. I think a little bit deeper in the fight, she could be looking a little bit better. Remember that the support for this team is ludicrous. All right, Takuai Goku, you have to do your job right here. Wow. Okay. Damn. Now, you guys have heard me for months saying, you know, I'd lo I love to be a fan of Roshi. Roshi's really good, but this is the Roshi experience, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, Tech UI, hey, bastard, you know, I, hey, listen, it's no thing to me to slide in LR Broly over your bitch ass. Make sure you get some dodges in, kid, okay? I will put in Broly above you, you bastard, in two seconds. Do that again, Tech UI Goku. All right, all right, uh, not looking too good, because here's the thing about the team. The whole team is dodge or die, right? The entire team, even like Roshi, and like LR Bulma are essentially touch or die. When Janemba busts that super attack out, it's it's curtains. Let's leave the girls just like this. Actually. So if we okay, okay. We know how dodge works now, where the dodge is like uh additive, right? So like um Peppy Gals right here is just giving Videl and Bunny Bulma a plus five percent chance to dodge. And it's not like a secondary separate 5% dodge proc. It just adds right to it. So the girls will actually factually be a lot better next like next to each other like that. Maybe we just rock them on rotation right there. Videl could put in work here for us, by the way. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Especially if she's doing that. Videl's going to be stacking. She's going to be doing a lot of damage. Now, I know we do have a lot of SDR characters on the team, but, you know, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Right? Like, it's like... Videl, I, like, we could take off Videl. I could put in, like, Super Saiyan Namek Goku. I was thinking about using his EZA a little bit. Um, but he, here's the only thing about that. he He's a great, like, slot three character, I think. Well, a good slot three character. I, he could be effective. Bunny Bulma, again, is going to need to pretty much dodge everything. I don't know that we could just tank normal, especially after an STR character hits Janemba. There's a Super on a dodge character. This is good for us. Yep, cool. But the normals are death as well, I'm pretty sure. She, she came through. Yeah, let's keep the girls together. I think Battlefield Diva legitimately will help us. Like, it's that little bit of extra dodge. Because it's just like, I, you know, the, the second we don't dodge, it's just, the fight is just instantly over. Um, th wait, oh, this, wait. No, no, my Roshi is in slot 7, right? This this is the friend Roshi right here? Wait, am I getting last run mixed up? Y yeah, no, this is my Roshi right here. All right, let's see. Okay, good dodge. Double digits, Okay. That's like fully built up Janemba right there. Double digits, I'll take that. That's not bad. Uh, again, I mean, I know... I mean, he just actually just like... Bro. bro dude. I, I know what just happened, but like... That's the Roshi team. There's nothing else we could do besides run it right back. Wait, where was the super? It was in the middle slot? Yeah, but it doesn't even matter. Like, okay, okay. The super attack was in the middle slot last turn. So if Janemba's gonna super... It likely is slot two or slot three, but I mean, I can't do anything about that. I Like, Janemba's going to slap around Bulma if we put her in slot one. Roshi can't go slot one. I, it's, like, that's this is where we start talking about the huge weakness of the team. All right. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Seven is good. Eight is better. We want that. Every orb for LR Bulma counts. Okay. All right, let's go. Um, There's, there's not much room to that's not really so bad 83 right there that's not a problem uh there's not really too much room by the way to be like swapping characters in and out of the team um i mean we could but it's at the end of the day i mean these like crucial moments every single turn we have to dodge Janemba super or it's over um i think max juiced roshi looks to me like he can live it so, like, um, like maybe, like, uh, LR Bulma's uh, support is up. LR Roshi is on rotation with, like, Bunny Bulma. And Roshi has his active up. Like, on a turn like that, he can live. Damn, yeah, middle slot. I, I Okay. But we have to dodge it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, no, that was still... Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. I got... Wait, what? Dude, my brain. My brain just short-circuit. I, th I thought that was a middle slot on LR Bulma for a second. Okay. No, that's perfect. Okay. Whew. 
UI Goku, good job, good job, good job. Uh, UI Goku probably could have lived that one, by the way. Um, once his guard is up, damn, even Bulma, look at that, holy shit. Once his guard is up, wait, is it? Did this get us into Roshi active skill territory? Are we? Are we? Are we in range? No, we're not. Damn, dude. Oh, R Roshi active skill on this next turn, and all of a sudden we got a real shot at winning, man. That's so sad. Okay, we do have UI Goku, but we have oh the god, the goat, the goat's active is up or revive is up. Mm. Oh, man. I mean, we have done a lot of damage to him already, huh? I. It's probably smarter to just do this. But, yeah. I'm going to just do this. Um, I'm not going to get any HP regeneration. No same type orbs for this turn. Because if we take some damage, um, we can fall below Roshi's active skill. Roshi's active skill is 70%. Uh, or tur turn five, we could just do it. Or, uh, you know, third turn, 70% HP or less. We're, we're looking good. I mean, one more super attack dodge and we're gaming for real. 77% super. Nice. We get it. Yeah, EJLUI Goku. I mean, he's just so supreme in fights like this. Like, just 100... Not only does he have 100% dodge, but his revive is up. Hidden potential system additional normal right there. Still a crit, though, so it's good. So, like, even if Videl gets killed right here, UI Goku saves us. Like, UI Goku is so good for the... Like, this fight... Because, like, really, this fight is kind of... I don't know, very similar. Like, it's like a stronger version of Cell Max that could never be debuffed, but doesn't last as long. Does that make sense? That's what this fight is. Okay, Bol or Vol Videl, sure. Uh, I mean, that's good for us, because that's actually a great damage take by Videl right there, as long as Bunny Bulma doesn't die, um, because right now we're in range for a double normal, okay? Damn, Bulma, come on! Now we can't use Roshi's active, dude. God damn you, Bunny Bulma! Vegeta. <laughs> Look at AGL UI Goku, bruh. AGL UI Goku is the one Dodger Die character that I will put my cape on for, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Damn, dude. Bunny Bulma. What an asshole she is. If Bunny Bulma just dodges right there, we have Roshi's active and we get juiced. And you might say, oh, but we'd have way lower HP. But Roshi's active, when we proc it, it heals 50% HP. All the damage Videl ate right there, we would have healed back and we'd have gotten the massive support. I think we will still kill Janemba on this turn, but you tell me where the super attack is. Go ahead. This is the fight where Scouter really matters. It's in here. This and, and Gogeta. All right, we hit that. Um, I mean, if the super attack comes in, again, no chance except for dodging it. That's all we can do. Okay. Oh. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 wanted to, he wanted to throw people off the scent uh, right away. Remember, Janemba does not get an attack buff when he supers, by the way. Um, he does lower our defense. But he doesn't actually buff himself, right? Any buffs Janemba's going to get throughout the course of this fight is us doing damage to him. That's where Janemba is actually going to be getting his buffs. Uh, this is the first fight I'm recording today. Uh, Dokkan's going to be a little bit quiet. I mean, I, I'm gonna, I, I still like to take my time building up the tier list. Uh, we should be getting info um, and a potential data download very soon. I don't think that there's going to be nothing else this week. I mean, we typically get a data download every week. Although, again, I, as I've explained to global players, um, October and November are typically, like, quieter months than you think for JP. How much are we at right there? 10k? Okay. Remember, Bulma gets progressively stronger defensively um, up until turn 7, right? 
Um, so, like, right now, my focus is just going to be kind of getting a lot of footage of some of these characters here in the Janemba and Gogeta fights for now. All right. All right, so we got a W there. Um, I kind of want to do, I mean, maybe one more run. I mean, what are we at? 15 minutes right here. At, we could do a little bit more right there. Um, so, I mean, let's just review, like, how we won. AGL UI Goku, I mean, has been the best character in the video so far. Uh, you know, his that turn three, he, you know, saved us. 100% dodge, and then he revived when one of the dodge characters didn't come through. This is what I've been saying about the Roshi team for months. While Roshi, like, you can... In a, in a vacuum, talk about how impressive what Roshi is doing is. Because he's giving huge support. And, like, he's pumping out a lot of super attacks. He's potentially getting a lot of crits. We haven't seen his active yet, but his active is crazy. Like, Roshi's really powerful. And we could put a character on this team and they will look super good. I'm going to swap Videl for Kefla, by the way. No, not him. Videl for Kefla. Yeah, let's do that. Um, but it's just, I don't like the team just loses, <laughs> right? Like, I, like I could say all this shit of, oh, that like, it's so good. He does this. He does this. But like, what does it really matter when we just lose? And like, like that's, that's like a, a feather in, in LR Broly's hat. Like, I, like he doesn't really lose. <laughs> what matters more, right? Like I. I, he is i'm finding him a, a very odd character because it's like him and his team don't really die i mean as long as you got the domain up for him but that's not really super tough to do um oh this is kind of scary we got to do bunny bulma here oh jesus do we yeah i mean yeah i'm not putting bunny bulma has a way higher chance to dodge than lr bulma 10 orbs is really good right there uh and and this is what i've noticed you guys notice just like flowing this team naturally a lot of the times, Roshi just ends up being a floater on his own team. I mean, he has a huge impact even as a floater because his support is monstrous. But, at, like, he's just a floater on his own team. Uh, this team needs help. Like, we need a tank character. Like, think of LRB Gohan. We need that for this team. Like, Goku right now is not... Like, Goku as a character is not as strong as you think. Because remember, Roshi leads Turtle School. So every single Goku, except for Path to Power Kid Goku, is on the team here. And, <laughs> I mean... Like, there's just no... Like, there's no Goku that can tank. I mean, I guess there there is Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But we'd also have to get a, a, a Boo Saga character on the team as well. I don't know what, what Boo Saga Goku we'd even run. Besides Angel Super Saiyan 3. I, we could run super easy a Dragon Fist. But, I mean, one normal and he's dead. And he's only got 30% top. Right? So... Like, that's, like, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku would help a lot. Maybe some people could say Tech God Goku, but, I mean, he, he gets killed. He gets one shot. Like, it's, like, he he's he's a good character to tank normals, Tech God Goku, sub EZA, but he can't tank these big super attacks anymore. He doesn't have the ability to do that. It's just power creep, man. That's how it goes. Okay. Uh, we'll go UI. Uh, this is not really the greatest rotation for us. Hmm. Can this... Can this get us six for Kefla? We're done. Yeah, it's over. Okay. We still have the orbs for that turn. Sure. Hmm. All right, chat. All right, chat. At right, this this turn, I'm not feeling so confident. I want sushi, by the way. Did I mention that? I bought some sushi. Can I order some right now? Let me let me take a look here. I know this is everyone's favorite segment. I know, like, yeah, I said, like, with Spark and Zero coming out, like, I really would like to, you know, hammer, like, these salads right now. Yesterday I did. I got a, I mean, it was a buffalo chicken salad, but it's, I mean, it's still a salad, right? 
Let's get some sushi, bruh. That's not, like, that's not, like, it's not like I'm, I'm not ordering five double cheeseburgers. It's sushi, goddammit. Could be way worse, right? Oh, oh what, what is this? Crunchy, wait, who is this on? Oh, she came through. Damn, girl. Wait, was that? I got, I got to double check um, what her dodge chance is. Because we got, what, five orbs with her? Was that hidden potential system dodge right there? Kefla, my baby. High chance to dodge with three key spheres. Okay, perfect. That came through. Nice. nice, nice. Um, yeah, okay. Bunny bull must slot one. LR bull must slot two, for sure. Uh, we, we have so many orbs for, for these girls, but we need it for uh, Kefla. There we go. Yeah, Kefla will be good. She's, she's going to show up on this rotation. Remember, again, <clears throat> damn, at Roshi can do his active on turn five but we're never gonna hit there oh dude crunchy roll family pack sushi yeah dude bro yep yeah yeah that's not that's i mean uh, sushi dude like we, yeah, we, we, yeah 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 we're we're fine we're we're locking that in some sushi while, you know, grinding out the last couple of characters and uh, Spark and Zero, right? No, no biggie. No biggie. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, LR Bulma does, in fact, get juiced by the super, though. So, uh, let's hope that that doesn't happen right here. Now, I do have a... F I mean, dodge comes up a lot in this video, but, like, what... How else are we supposed to survive Janemba's attacks? Can you guys tell me, please? All right. Like, yeah, we do... Okay, okay. I, I, my Bulma is considered um, UI uh, Bulma. Alright, Roshi. Can we crit and finish him off? Hit him, potential system, additional normal. Not kill us. Oh, that would have been so crazy. Hit him, potential system, additional normal, and we die. <laughs> no. The best character of the video ends the fight. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Beautiful. Um, one thing I do need to just emphasize here. Um, remember, throughout this entire video, Roshi is giving Turtle School and Peppy Gal Category Allies 2 key and 50% attack and defense. Right, so every character on this team at all times was getting 50% support on a rotation Roshi's in. So, I mean, just look at... I, I mean, okay. Am I nuts... Or does Roshi not just look five times better than Vegeta? Like, I know Vegeta can really build... I, I mean, Vegeta does have dodge built in. Uh, nearly 50%, which Roshi doesn't, right? Roshi has to just tank with, like, his damage reduction and stuff like that. Um, which, I mean, dodge is always going to age better, right? Related to, like, when units come out and stuff like that. But, like, you know, Roshi with his 50% damage reduction, we saw Janema do 900k to him. <laughs> like, like it doesn't really matter so much. Uh, Fifty percent damage reduction means we take nine hundred k, dude. So, but like Roshi, I mean, the thing is, Roshi is heavily restricted though. Vegeta is not, and I think that that kind of matters, right? Like we we can run Vegeta anywhere, and like he'll still be able to be Vegeta. We can't do that with Roshi. Let me just put Roshi's kit up on screen just to show this. Like, we can't just run Roshi anywhere and he's Roshi, right? Like, he needs a Bulma on rotation, which we had almost every single turn, giving him the extra attack and the high chance to crit. He's specifically a support for only these two typings. But then he also needs, you know, a Peppy Gal category ally in the turn. And he needs two Turtle School category allies besides himself on the team. So, it's like Roshi... 
Like, I feel like he probably looked better than Vegeta in this video, but he is so heavily restricted all over the place, whereas Vegeta is not, right? Like, he doesn't have character restrictions that we have to rock with him. It's just, you know, get the orbs for him is what he is. I, I would say I prefer the Vegeta model to Roshi of just, you know, get orbs that he creates rainbow orbs. So it's not, I don't consider it a big deal. Right, I like this over, you know, like this right there or this right there. Because what is Roshi, chat? He's a leader. Dokkan Festival exclusive leaders. I want my leader characters to look like this with no restrictions. That just makes everything run smooth. There's plenty of easy A's, sub easy A's, yellow coin LR's that they could hammer restrictions on to make them specific buffs for specific teams. I think that's fine. I'm sorry. But the Dokkan Fest exclusives, they got to be looking like this, but Vegeta obviously just needs to be strong. He's just not strong enough. Um, but no restrictions is really good. Um, so, I mean, I, I feel like that's good. I mean, we kind of, um, I would actually like to go longer, but we've, you know, we did a bunch of runs. We saw already the Roshi team is dodge or die. And we saw how, you know, Roshi can look. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch y'all next time.